Mark Zuckerberg's vision for AI avatars, shared during his recent discussion with NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong, has generated a bunch of articles tying the concept to digital twin technology. Zuckerberg wants to help creators and small businesses to create AI replicas of themselves for public interactions. His company Meta just launched its AI studio, where users can create digital versions of themselves to interact with followers. How much does Zuckerberg's vision align with digital twin technology as defined today? Before diving into that, let's preview what's to come. Stick around for the latest updates on how digital twins are being used across industries for on-demand custom sneakers, cattle breeding, telecommunications, humanoid robots, and much more. Now back to Zuckerberg. Today's AI avatars do basic tasks like responding to comments and direct messages. Media commonly refers to the AI representations as digital twins, which is misleading. Current avatars are basic digital representations of a person's general persona and style. They rely on user source, static, or at best, semi-dynamic data. With limited data integration, today's avatars come nowhere close to the technical definition of digital twin. But in the future, the technology is bound to incorporate more data for more personalized and context-aware interactions. A virtual replica of a person would become a digital twin when it incorporates real-time biometric, location, and activity data. The twin would mimic its real-world counterpart's responses and decision-making tendencies. At this point, the digital twins could reliably fill in during virtual meetings and provide proactive suggestions in anticipation of future exchanges. So for now, AI avatar is more accurate. Now let's get into the state of digital twin technology of today. Remember to subscribe to stay up to date as digital twins surge in popularity and use the comment section to suggest updates for future roundups. ASICS is experimenting with on-demand sneaker personalization using advanced digital twin and 3D printing technology at a new micro factory in Paris. At the ASICS personalization studio, a detailed scan of the runner's foot captures its exact shape and dimensions. A digital twin of the foot is then created using the Dasso Systems 3D Experience platform. The sock liner design is generated based on the detailed digital model, ensuring a perfect fit. The custom sock liner is then 3D printed with tailored cushioning and support. A custom fit improves alignment and pressure distribution, boosting performance and recovery. Dasso and ASICS plan to test the technology in Japan in 2025. Luxcrio's 3D printing smart factory is part of the personalization studio. The Chicago-based company's special resin is stretchy and keeps its shape. Let's talk about let's talk about um, the next the next wave. Nvidia has released new tools aimed at accelerating the deployment of humanoid robots worldwide. The tech giant just announced a suite of tools for robot simulation, learning, and training. A new humanoid robot developer program provides early access to the tools, with companies like Boston Dynamics and ByteDance already participating. NVIDIA says its NIM microservices can reduce robot deployment times from weeks to minutes. The Mimic Gen NIM microservice creates synthetic motion data, while the Robocasa NIM microservice makes simulation-ready environments. Osmo, NVIDIA's cloud-based service, simplifies robot training and simulation. The company says it cuts development times from months to under a week. Teleoperation, which captures human actions to train robots, can be done faster and cheaper with NVIDIA's AI and Omniverse digital twin tools. The software is compatible with the Apple Vision Pro, which captures human demonstrations that are simulated and expanded into large datasets for training robots. NVIDIA has been vocal about humanoid robots, investing heavily in their development and capabilities. Humanoid robotics will be as common as cars are today. Program members get early access to foundational models in NVIDIA's project group. The project, announced earlier in 2024, uses NVIDIA's tech to teach robots how to move and interpret human language. A robotic startup could use a foundational model with their hardware as a starting point. Since the model already knows a lot, the startup can focus on teaching the robot to perform tasks that can't yet be automated.
The US lags behind Russia and China in hypersonic weapons because it isn't fully using modern engineering tools like digital twins. Despite spending billions, the Pentagon hasn't fielded any hypersonic weapons, which fly more than five times the speed of sound. Cost estimates are tricky because the Pentagon lacks experience in the technology. So officials rely on expert opinions, which can be biased. In a new report, the Government Accountability Office says four out of six hypersonic weapon programs are not using modern digital engineering tools or asking for user feedback. They are the Army's long-range hypersonic weapon, the Navy's standard missile 6-block IB, and the Air Force's hypersonic attack cruise missile and air-launched rapid response weapon. The Budget Office says modernizing their engineering tools would accelerate development, reduce costs, and lead to more effective and user-friendly hypersonic weapons. The Department of Defense has been pressuring its programs to digitally transform defense systems. In late 2023, the Defense Department issued its Digital Engineering Directive 5000.97, which requires detailed digital models as the primary method of communication in new programs unless exempted. Your visibility is under 50 meters as you drive on a curvy road on a foggy night. You have about 3.6 seconds to react when you finally see the broken down truck blocking your path. The tragedy to follow can be prevented using state-of-the-art digital twin technology. That's according to SoftBank, which details its predictive accident prevention technology in a new report called Smart Roads Ahead. The Japanese telecommunications company says its experiments confirm the technology can make roads safer. Digital twins merge real-time data from connected cars and road sensors. The combined data creates a virtual model of the road environment. The digital twins use state estimation and sensor fusion to track vehicle positions accurately. When a potential risk is detected, the system alerts the would-be victim to avert tragedy. SoftBank says the technology works for non-connected vehicles using data from roadside sensors the unconnected driver would get the alert on their infotainment system or smartphone. Digital twins are now used to pair cattle for breeding. A major Australian cattle producer uses the genetic predictive technology to prevent inbreeding and predict breeding outcomes. The Australian agricultural company detailed the technology to Beef Central. The tool extracts info from DNA samples taken from cattle. The data is analyzed against breeding records, animal performance metrics, and databases containing genetic info from many cattle. The combined data goes into digital twins that simulate and predict outcomes. The detailed digital models provide insights to improve overall herd quality and productivity. Continuous updates are made to the virtual replicas with new genetic data as it's updated. The Australian company now plans to integrate the technology more broadly across its breeding programs. Robot success increases by over 67% using digital twins of real-world locations for training. That's according to researchers from the US and Germany who developed a new method for training robots with computer simulations called real to sim to real or Rialto. First, the physical location is scanned to create a detailed digital copy. With that, a digital twin is built that reflects the physical space in real time. The robot software operates in the virtual environment, letting it see and interact with objects as if they were real. Robots practice tasks in the digital twin, safely learning and improving their skills virtually. After training in the simulation, the research team says, the robots perform the tasks in the real world with much greater success. The study used Franca Amica Panda robotic arms. Tasks performed included stacking dishes and placing books on a shelf. The researchers are affiliated with the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the University of Washington, and the Technical University of Darmstadt. The study was partly funded by the Sony Research Award Program, the U.S. federal government, and Hyundai. Skilled AI has secured $300 million to build a foundational AI model to power robots for real-world applications. The round of Series A funding brings the San Francisco-based startup's valuation to $1.5 billion. The company says the funding will go toward advancing AI to make robots more adaptable and useful across industries. 
led by Lightspeed Venture Partners. Investors include Kochu, SoftBank, Jeff Bezos, Sequoia, Felicis Ventures, and Amazon. Skilled AI says its foundational model is trained on a significantly larger and more diverse set of data compared to competitors. The company says it's working on hiring experts in AI, robotics, engineering, operations, and security to help bring advanced AI into physical reality. Delex El Dorado Refinery is now using leading-edge digital twin technology to better run the facility that processes 80,000 barrels of crude oil a day. A virtual model of the Arkansas facility reflects the petroleum refinery's state in real time. The digital twin provides 3D views with data from controls, maintenance, inspections, and sensors. The refinery uses Mobidio's digital twin platform powered by R2S technology to create and manage the models. Delic U.S. Holdings says the technology makes it easier to plan and understand complex data. The company says virtual equipment checks save time and money. They also credit the digital twin with improving teamwork and resource management. The Mobidio digital twin platform is geared towards shutdown, turnaround, and outage planning. Delic's refineries process more than 300,000 barrels of crude oil daily. A new digital twin method makes wireless networks faster and more reliable by optimizing edge caching, according to computer scientists from North Carolina State University. The researchers developed a new method called DREC, which uses a virtual copy of the network to predict what data users need. It uses reinforcement learning to make better decisions about data storage. According to the researchers, DREC prevents network overloads by predicting and adjusting data storage. The research was published in the IEEE Journal on Selected Areas in Communications. Researchers say they tested nearly 12,000 organic solar cells in 24 hours by combining leading-edge digital twin and machine learning capabilities with legacy printing technology. The international team created a platform called Microfactory to improve solar cell production in a closed-loop system. They use digital twins for simulations and process optimizations. The virtual replicas provided comprehensive data used for rapid iteration and refinement of solar cell designs. They printed the cells using roll-to-roll -roll technology, a highly efficient manufacturing process allowing for continuous production of flexible materials. The findings were reported in Cell Reports Physical Science. Gillette Stadium's new digital twin is already transforming the venue's operations. The Kraft Group partnered with Team D3 to create the virtual replica of the stadium. The digital twin connects infrastructure like electricity, gas, and sewer systems into one format. Integrating building information modeling and geographic information systems, data helps manage the stadium and Patriot Place more efficiently. According to Sports Business Journal, the digital twin will also be used to plan special events and offer digital tours of suites. The technology enables easier selling of premium seating by showing detailed virtual views that are easier to understand than CAD files or blueprints. Gillette Stadium, home to the New England Patriots and New England Revolution, has a stadium capacity of nearly 65,000 and consistently sells out NFL games, Major League Soccer matches, and concerts. Turkey has completed a digital twin of the historic Hagia Sophia structure in Istanbul. The project began in 2022. According to Turkish state media, the technology will be used to monitor the building and plan future conservation work. It will also be used to check the building's stability and how well it can handle earthquakes. If the Hagia Sophia is damaged, the digital twin will help officials restore it to its original condition. Originally built as a cathedral, the Hagia Sophia is now a museum and mosque. What other digital twin use cases are emerging in 2024? Sound off in the comments. For deep dives into the past and future of digital twin technology, check the related videos in the description.